just thought I'd throw up my ex acceptance speech of the uh, Buckeye Boys Best Try Trophy for 2014. And if you guys didn't realize, we've gone to single year. Started in 2009, 9, 10, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is the fourth year. So, my uh, my speech for this is uh, my fellow PBCers. This is my fourth annual PBC final. And this will be my final address. First of all, I wish to thank uh, Mike Kelly 7 and Suburban Rider for recruiting me into the PBC back in 2009. And now the Buckeye Boys, with the award for the 2014 PBC Best Try Trophy. Keep in mind, I've never won this, so I don't know why I have a target on my back, but um, these are my thoughts as I bow out with my inferior bike, and it's been the honor of my life to be the main target for the PBC since day, day one, since 2009. With all the comments since way back then, the goat and the Barbie, I thank, I thank all that have watched and supported me. And uh, one of the things about being the PBC target to beat, it's been enjoyable. It has established the community via banner or the love of doing things that not many else would attempt to do. And I really mean that because some watch us waiting to crash, some watch us waiting to die, some watch us, like that video is going to be posted, and some watches just for the sheer amazement that we are able to do that. But one of the best things is the banter in the entire community of it. Um, individually, we all know and realize that the looks we receive as PBC writers from the general public are worth doing it in their own rights. I mean, how awesome is it? People look at you when you're out on your bike in the snow and, and you can see them turning their heads going, what the hell is this guy doing out on a motorcycle? It's because we're badass. We're the baddest son of a bitches out there. However, we're still vlogging. Some of you are going to ask how I can quit. I'm not going to quit. I'm still going to do it, but I'm just going to do it now for the pure love of writing. Some will say it's become too commercialized and mockus, which I've seen a lot of comments on that lately. You can just look at them and scoff. Because, you know, they're they're nothing more than trolls. Because they can't do it. So they wanna mouth off at somebody riding in snow or sub zero temperatures or sub freezing temperatures and basically give you the bird or make some snotty ass fucking comment. You know, each PBC 
person earns their own way in one shape or form. I mean, riding at 29 degrees, it's not really my game. I mean, I, I continue to strive to get lower and lower and lower and continue to ride. But, unfortunately, I have a piece of shit bike that's not allowing me to do that this year. Out of 77 days, I got 18 rides in. The rest of the time it was in the shop or waiting on a tow. Some of you guys want to ride 29, 30 degrees. Okay, whatever. But I, I, I don't... I don't see any enjoyment in that. I don't... I don't consider them the baddest of the bads. Snow on the streets, sub-zero temperatures, and we still ride and vlog. And that was the original intention of the Polar Bear Challenge. However, when certain people join and attempt to mock it, I say it's time for me to go. I will not let my age and experience... offer me an opportunity to exploit the youth and inexperience of my fellow riders whether they're on rebels or fucking Bergmans I mean got a guy in Canada that can ride a Harley for 77 days a year during the PBC I mean you guys are Piddle wanks. I mean, what the fuck? Really? So I, I'm just here to accept the best try trophy and bow out. And I'm done with it because it's no longer fun to me anymore. So, God bless you all. Ride safe, my friends. Continue the challenge. Have fun. Best regards, NT8. And for certain people, go fuck yourself. I don't really care anymore. It's not a big deal. Now you got to figure out who's got the target on their back. Because you know I'm still going to do it. You know I'm still the biggest and baddest motherfucking rider or snow that's out there. I mean, 23 degrees below zero and eh, whatever. So I'm just gonna have to say Ha ha! Busted all you motherfuckers! Wait till next year, bitches!